Hey everyone, welcome to our series walkthrough for Physics 1.1, carry out a practical investigation that leads to a linear mathematical relationship with direction. This standard is for level 1, with 4 credits and is internally assessed. In this series, there are 6 lessons which will go through most of what you need to know to get an excellence in P1.1. In lesson 1, we'll go through an overview of the task at hand. In level 2, we'll look at the aim and the variables. In lesson 3, we'll look at processing some data. In lesson 4, we'll use Excel to create a graph. In lesson 5, we'll use the graph that we just created and make an analysis of it, and then we'll form a conclusion. And in lesson 6, we'll write a discussion. Please note that I won't be going through how to write a method or how to undergo the practical side of the investigation, since these vary from investigation to investigation. Cool. So the following is uh, a task that I've created that I'll be using throughout the walkthrough. Uh, trampoline springs. A trampoline is a strong piece of fabric connected by multiple springs to a frame. When Lou jumps on a trampoline, he notices that the springs extend by a certain amount and compress back when he is not in contact with the trampoline. Lou also notices that when his friend Ethan, who is heavier than Lou, jumps on the trampoline, the springs extend by a different amount. The equipment you will be given is a spring balance apparatus, a retort stand with clamps, and a weight system. In this investigation, you're required to find the relationship between the force exerted by the spring of objects of different weights or the weight force of different, on different objects and the distance a spring extends, which is labelled as X. Using different masses, attach them to the spring balance apparatus and measure the spring extension from its natural position. Record your data in an appropriate table. Take care to make repetitive measurements. A relevant physics theory, referred to as Hooke's Law, suggests that the relationship between force and extension is given by F is equal to negative KX, where F is the weight force acting on the mass, X is the distance that the spring has extended following its initial position, and K is a proportionality constant called the spring constant. It is a measure of the spring's stiffness. <laughs> 